men have become so impotent before even getting old. Young boys are becoming, uh, they're having erectile dysfunction, they're becoming impotent and you're wondering what is happening. But of course, they know they're eating so much unhealthy foods. Eating a lot of unhealthy foods. <clears throat> what dreams happen to people who retain semen once in a while? There's no problem with that. That's a natural occurrence. You cannot stop it. But there are people who tell you that if you retain semen, uh, you will end up having prostate cancer. That is the most stupid idea ever. This is the idea from the, from the West, that they are encouraging African men to ejaculate every single day so that they become weak and they can be dominated, so that they can indoctrinate you with this agenda of uh, vasectomy, uh, hormonal contraceptives. They can bring their, their issues here of, of, of the alphabet. Men can have sex, get an, an orgasm, get satisfaction without having to ejaculate. Now, when you retain that semen, sperm is basically 80% protein. It will be absorbed back into the system. So there's no single way. You're actually be retaining the energy and the seed. So there's no single way your, 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 your testicles will burst because you have a lot of semen or a lot of sperm. No. <laughs> I've heard that story. Oh, you know, if we, we, don't, if we don't ejaculate, uh, my, 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 my testicles starts to hurt because they are full. Aye, well, well. Oh, I'll get I'll get prostate cancer. The studies are saying I have to ejaculate 21 times in a in a month. Ooh. Which studies? You can ejaculate every single day if you want to. That's the reason why you are addicted to masturbation. Because the only reason why men masturbate is because of the aimless need to ejaculate. If you get ejaculation out of masturbation, no man will masturbate. All of them are busy trying to use that MA image or that video to just get an ejaculation. So the only reason why you're masturbating is because you cannot handle your need or your aimless need to ejaculate. And then after an ejaculation, you know what happens. The guilt comes in and now the swearing comes in. I'm not going to do this again and all that. But go on Instagram and see ladies flashing their thighs and their boobs. You're there again. Boom! You're again promising yourself, let me just do this one for the last time. And you see, that's basically an identity problem. That's not even about the organ. Now you're hurting the organ indirectly. Both physically and you're hurting your spiritual, you're hurting your mental, you're hurting your physical. Literally. And now you're losing the connection between you and the women. So how will you be able to satisfy a woman when masturbation is in your head? You cannot even have an adequate conversation. Walk into the offices and you'll easily see a man who masturbates. How they sit, the sitting posture, very messed up. They can't sit upright for an hour. Look at them eating everything. They can't even resist food. You simply know this one. I, this one, no, no, no. Yes, they call it blue balls. That I return, the, the, I'll get the blue balls. Blue balls for who? So there's a place I read this quote. Listen to this. Sex is a great force. So great that it arouses or it kills all okay when you arouse sex is so great and it's a great force that when it's aroused even your purpose and passions are put to rest man i repeat sex is a great force so great that if you arouse your sexual thoughts even your purpose and your passions are suppressed imagine that <laughs> and this is the reason why you should actually be careful with who you sleep with. Let's talk to Tariq. Your dog. Yes, sir. I was asking. Yeah. Okay. Is turmeric water like harmful or is is it healthy? Turmeric, ginger water, and cinnamon. When you say healthy, what do you mean? Okay. Let me ask this. Is it harmful? In any way. No. While taking it. Why 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 would you take it? Okay. What is the what is the what is the reason behind you taking it? You know, research says it brings clear skin, you know. Okay. And other benefits. Oh research. You know, of even losing weight. Who's who's yeah. research? Google. Oh, okay. Well uh <laughs> We've talked about skin problems before, and for you to fix the skin, you must fix the gut. Turmeric water is not coming in to fix your gut. You just have to change what you're eating. Uh, 
Okay, okay. Whatever the research says, ignore okay. it. Go ahead One and last question. Yeah. Mm, how how to deal with anxiety, you know, bad anxiety problems? Why would you have anxiety in the first place? Is there something that you, you are afraid of? Is there something that you want to prove? Because anxiety comes from the need you know, of you like, wanting to prove a point to something. Yeah, you know, like, you're afraid that you won't satisfy the other gender. You see, when you... Your wife, maybe. Ah, that's a good one. You see, bro, when, when you're afraid of satisfying a woman, you will actually end up not satisfying her. Because you're actually trying to run away from the fact that you are... You have some weakness in bed. So ideally, from within you, you already have the belief that I'm unable to satisfy a woman. And that belief is actually the one that's going to give you anxiety. Because listen, what if this lady only wants one minute and you can manage two minutes? Which basically means you'll give her double orgasms. So why are you worried about her? Okay, so like I should just be myself and do whatever I can. Exactly. That's where you start from. When you start from that point of view, when you start easing up that tension from you, it becomes easy for you to even actually perform. So that is one. One of it is you have to hold back and just uh, relax into it because, again, it's not the end of life. Number two, you must make sure uh, that the foreplay takes a longer period of time because, you see, most of us, when you see a lady with the beautiful uh, behind, the first thing that comes into your head is, I want to get her in bed. It's not even you wanting to have some conversations with her to understand how... The psychology of women works. We are just thinking, hey, boom, I want her in bed. I want her in bed. That's why we are having all these sex all over, but we are not having the satisfactory sex that we want. We keep on blaming them. So what you need to do is, one, you be yourself. And number two, take some time and be easy. Sex is not, is not, is not instant. Simply make it an event. Take some time to take the foreplay, prepare her earlier, make yourself comfortable. And then above all, before you even go for the process, start by fixing you. Go to the gym, eat healthy, start fasting so that you can boost your testosterone. Because you see, when you have that anxiety, it means deep within you are inadequate. Which means your testosterone levels are so messed up. To an extent that, you are, you, you are actually thinking you're feminine. So estrogen is up, you're thinking you're feminine, and you cannot be able to satisfy another feminine energy. So when you boost the masculine energy, you'll not need to care about the feminine energy. you simply care about having the sex as a process and as an event. And when you've done your job, ah, you wait for congratulations. If it doesn't come, so be it. Well done and you move. Okay, thank you, Doc. You're welcome. Sex anxiety is, 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 is a problem, my friends. You know, <clears throat> when you, you have suffered consequences of uh, basically a divorce or a broken relationship before, and the issue was all about the sex, and the woman, of course, they have a way of rubbing this in. They will tell you how you are a one-minute man and all that. Just step on your ego. Sometimes they don't mean it because they didn't tell you you are a one-minute man when you had them. But when they leave, now they start telling you, hey, hey, hey. So now, sometimes you have to know how to handle these things. And that's why you need to boost your masculine energy. You need to, to raise your testosterone energy to know that, one, you don't need to chase the women for the sex. You need to attract the women. Number two... You want to understand that sex is not about ejaculating because when you start thinking about it in terms of ejaculating, all you're chasing in this process is just to ejaculate. And now you start worrying because the moment you have that mindset, anytime you get into it, oh, it's coming, it's coming. And now the fear settles in because now you're thinking maybe in the next woman it will still come and it'll, I'll actually get the shame. So you have to get that shame out of you because shame is the nature of evil. Identity crisis again comes in. Okay. Yeah, so we need to fix that. And I think that identity thing has to go deeper. Yes, Chloe. Hello. Yes, how are you? Yes, I'm good. Talk to me. Okay, people were, people are asking about the anxiety issue in terms of sexual behavior. Yes. I just wanted to tell them when... Okay, when someone wants to have sex, they have they must have that a good condition like area. Mm -hmm. mm. To avoid disturbance, you to come from to come on a kunywa kombe. The person is drunkard. Maybe when I have sex in an area where children can when is a kujia for bedroom, mama ringing of on the of the phone. Mm. A lot of people want to nini. Kuangalia the five stages of having sex. Inye okay. na desire stage. Yeah. 
hiyo ni yote mwenye mtu yote mnatoa nguo kissing and whatever alafu kuna excitement stage Mm -hmm. I think you just explain for them the kuna excitement stage kuna plateau Mhm. Ogazuma alafu hiyo nini resolution stage ile yenye unauliza mtu how did you feel bitu kama hizo. Hiyo please hiyo. Hiyo resolution hapo ndo watutaki. Hapo kwa resolution. No. Why? Yeah, no, Why? but it's, but it's the truth. Most men don't want the resolution stage. That's that's for the women. They want to they want to to feel comfortable because they want to know how the man felt about it. You see, for men, uh, sex is more of a physical thing than it is uh, a mental thing. It's not an emotional thing. Could be spiritual, but mostly it's physical. Okay. So one, <laughs> one, once they are done, oh. once they, they want to sleep. Uh -huh. That's why you, you don't you don't have sex with anyone like you just find a lady and go have sex with that person. Yeah. You must agree with you two people. Mm. So that even in that resolution stage you people can still talk and everything. But you see but you see the reality is we cannot run away from uh, yeah. the fact that in this generation people are just having sex and sex has become <laughs> a recreational thing. Okay? So let, for example if I'm if I'm interested in you I'm taking you for several dates. I am not open to you to just come out and tell you, hey, mm -hmm. uh, Chloe, I'm interested in you and you're physically attractive and I would like to really want to have sex with you. I'll not come that way. I'd rather spend some 5Gs taking you for different dates to win your organ, to win your trust. And then when I've won the trust, mm -hmm. I'm expecting because you're physically attractive, you're also good in bed. You see that expectation? That's where the problem is. So when I start expecting that because you're, you, you look attractive, or you have this fine uh, behind, you are good in bed. Now, I'm forgetting that good in bed is actually an effort between two people. So when I'm coming to you, mm -hmm. I'm thinking you are the one who is supposed to satisfy me. You see the problem? So now I come there, and then I, I the, the one hour that I'm having you, that one hour is not for me. That one hour is me trying to find your orgasm time. Because trust me, every man is aiming at you getting that orgasm before him. Because he knows if he gets the orgasm before you, the ejaculation comes out before you. Oh, it's the end of story. He's not coming back. The refractory period for most men is the longest period. It can, it can take a whole night before they come back again. So you can imagine, he knows if he ejaculates, it's end of story. And we know that immediately we start having sex with you. We know this one has the sex appeal so I can want to have sex with her again. But he also knows that this one, I, if I finish it earlier, I'm done. So, this man, <laughs> yeah, it's true. So this man is expecting you to satisfy him in bed because he thinks you're beautiful, so you're good in bed automatically. And now he's here, he's struggling with his, his, his own self, trying to satisfy you, but he's not getting that point where he's thinking, ah, maybe I'm a fika musho you, so now I have to get my, my, my deal done. And when I get that deal done, please, uh, trust me, you, most men don't want that conversation. And that's why it's very necessary for men to hold back their ejaculation. Because if they don't, Immediately they are done. That's when they start realizing, eh, hey, this one had a pot belly. Eh, hey, Kumbe, this one has this, this uh, <laughs> they call it cellulites, the dimples everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's the point. That's the time he starts seeing all the faults in you. And at that moment in time, it's so late. So the only thing he has to do is to get into his defense mode and either sleep or become so angry and so tough so that you get scared. And you see, you will create excuses for him. You will actually say, uh, maybe because it's the first time he's behaving this way, maybe he will change. Now you see, you're again try, trying to create excuses for him. The next time is going to be even worse. So when you talk about us having that conversation, <laughs> no easy. What, what happens to married couples? No, married. Like I think they should. But you know, it's, there is a difference between a relationship and married couples. Yes. What is the difference? That's why, you know, if they don't do such things, that like the stages, the faces of nini sexual intercourse, mm. that's why you find someone's libido has reduced, and even they go to psychologists to ask why their wife or husband has gradually but, changed but you see that is you that is you introducing a third party in your sexual life this third party is also suffering from the same with the partner he's just studied psychology but that psychology is not changing his his position he's also having the same problems and now he's here coming in as a third party do you want a uh -huh. threesome the worst thing to do is to introduce <laughs> no. 
is to introduce a third party in that relationship because that will mess you up. Because listen, when you go to a psychologist and this 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 guy, maybe a lady, is the lady who is advising you about uh, your sex life in your marriage. Now you see automatically if you went with your man, this man is actually thinking, mm-hmm. eh, uh, what 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 about what about me replacing you with this psychologist? <laughs> Because, because you see, you no, go, <laughs> they can't. No, they I'm being can't. honest with you. I'm being honest with you. Like literally, this is not a joke. Men are visual creatures. You walk into that psychologist's room, and I am busy looking at everything that can actually get you out. Because by the time we are going to a psychologist, I don't need you. Because if I needed you, I could have conversation with you. Mm-hmm. So you already stopped to exist in my head. So multiple times I've had sex with you, but had an ejaculation with another woman in my head, and now you. Are taking me to a counselor who is a woman. That's a th- that's a second woman in this marriage. I'm looking at this woman. I'm like, ah, this one, like, this one can come in handy because if she has these types of advices, what if I can go for this one? You will end up losing. It's not necessarily when they go a psychologist when you need one. Okay, we send that to a man. Yes, another problem. Another problem. Listen, your man is the ultimate man. To a woman, your man is the ultimate man. So imagine by the time your man is unable to solve anything and now you have to seek advice from another man. What does that mean? It is the same concept with your man failing to provide and now you have to go to work to work for another man so that he can provide for you. Do you see that? So you know very well, if you bring somebody who is a man to advise you about your sexual life, it means that this man is better than your man. True or false? No. Chloe. Let's be honest. If you're going to seek advice from another man to give you advice about your sex relationship with your man, does it make does it make your man the better man or the other man the better man? Let's be honest. Okay, in in this perspective. Mm-mm. Leave alone this perspective. Okay. I just want an answer. True or false? <laughs> True. Exactly. So, if if you're seeking if you're seeking sexual advice from an other party who is a man, it basically means your man stopped making sense. So you're actually giving up on this man. But because the society will judge you, you're trying to hide in and you're in denial, just trying to, to think that you're the best woman and now you have to fix things. Listen, you cannot fix an adult. You can't fix an adult. Okay, okay what happens? Yes. For a married couples, they have talked about it, mm-hmm. about that sexual desires and nothing changes. Yeah. What should they, they do? Should they go to a psychologist or what should they do? Should they quit that marriage? But but who understands your organs more than you? So basically it means something is not happening here. One, you're seeing in marriage, look at it this way. In mm-hmm. marriage, one, a woman has achieved all her goals, and marriage is the ultimate goal for most women, right? Yeah. So when you get into that marriage, this is your best decision, because marriage is the best decision for every woman. This is the best and the ultimate decision that you'll ever make, above all other decisions. You can be very tough at work. You can be that manager. But you see, one of the decisions that you'll make that will be a super decision is the man that you'll get married to, right? Chloe? Yes, I'm listening. And I told you, for you to get into any type of relationship, you don't need to rely on the other party. You first have to fix yourself. When you fix yourself and you get your own identity, you get to attract people who share the same ideologies as you. Now, the problem is, you get into a marriage, you, 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 don't, know about, you don't know God, you know about God. Your man does not understand any basics of forgiveness. In his head, he's actually carrying an identity from the mother. On this other side, you're carrying an identity from your mother. Now, this is a problem because all of you are feminine. So in marriages, it becomes it comes to a place where all of you mezoyana. Now, is a problem. It's not, it's not, it did not start in marriage. It started earlier. Only that you guys pushed yourself into marriage without understanding the basics. Because I believe before anybody gets into marriage, they have to know God directly. Basically, they must have their own identity. So that the women that they attract or the men that they attract are actually godly. They have their own identities. But how many marriages exist and men have never forgiven their mothers? How many marriages exist and women don't know God? They know about him because they've heard about him.
but they don't know him. So marriage is an institution that's ordained by God. It is ordained by God. And you see, in marriage, sex for a man becomes a responsibility. It's not even fun anymore. It's just a responsibility. I have to make sure that I satisfy my woman because if I don't, I've failed in my part because sex is part of my responsibility to her. So when you know God and you understand the order of God, you will simply understand your roles to this woman. And that means there is no single day that you will not satisfy her in bed because you will be eating right, you will be exercising, you will be fasting, and you will be enjoying the sun, you will be easing up on stress, you will be working hard to provide, you will be that family man. Therefore, it means there is no single place you went wrong because getting that sexual issues in marriage is not about the marriage. It's about the man and the woman. It's about you guys. So we just try to hide in the marriage umbrella. But it's about me. If I'm unable to satisfy you in bed, how is the marriage concern? How is the marriage having being a problem here? Because there are other people who are in marriages and they are still having satisfactory sex. You understand my point? So it's not about the marriage, it's about the people. Yeah. Yeah, we start, we just hide in marriage, in the umbrella of marriage, but it's about the people, it's not about the marriage. So men should go back to being man. Men, before you get married, know God, so that you can teach your woman about God and how to know God. So that now your woman can teach the children. Because any woman who understands the nature of God or any man who understands the order and the nature of God will know God above men, men above women, and women above children. So everything from love, from the energy will trickle from God to the man, from the man to the woman, then from the woman to the children. But look at it this way. Nowadays, there is God and then children. So the order of God is actually distorted. And when the order of God is distorted, that marriage cannot work because marriage is an institution that is ordained by God. Have I answered you? Yeah. Mm. Why, why do you sound breathless? Why do you sound like somebody who just, ideas just disappear? <laughs> eh? <laughs> Where did, you came with a lot of energy. Now I have to pull the energy out of you. Are you okay? <laughs> you, you explaining marriage in according to God's perspective, like Christianity. No, no, marriage, it's not Christianity. God is not about Christians. Ma marriage is not about Christianity. Marriage is about just God. It's just the order of God. There's nothing like Christianity in this one. It's a spiritual thing. <laughs> 